What's up good people and welcome back to Empire Group Productions. My name is Shiko Gitao and I am back with the weekly trends. And on top of our list today is the beautiful Amanzi Wakibera. And of course many if not all of you have come across these videos and pictures trending on all platforms of Manzi Wakibera together with her new lover a 65 year old man. Just imagine. 65 years of age they say age is just a number do you think the age difference between Manziwa Kibera and the old man a difference of around 40 years is actually the number we are talking about do you think this is true love because many of you out there say it is clout but according to Manzwa Kibera she really loves this man what do you think about this whole story let me know on the comment section moving on to our next trend finally Kenya got a fashion police guess who I am talking about the one and only Shonara because you know what this week we had the Black Panther event in Nairobi City and definitely Shonara was out here to criticize or say something about the celebrities outfit during the event and top of the discussion was the one and only Kate actress and according to Shonara Really, Kate Actress understood the assignment. And apart from Kate Actress, we also should narrow talk about the one and only digital creator, that is Mungai Eve. And I could. According to Shonara, she says that Mungai Eve has really improved on her dressing because she says previously Mungai Eve used to appear in events like Amanda Kubai Mandazi but these days the girl has really improved and concerning the cat actress understanding the assignment of the cloud during the event these sentiments were echoed by the one and only Vera Sidika who on her Insta stories wrote all I can say is at Kate Actress, my babe always understands the assignment. All I can say is at Kate Actress, my babe always understands the assignment. And for me, I'll also say that Saudi Soul really, really understood the assignment on how they did it during the event. Speaking of Vera Sidika. I know most of you out here will now want to really work for Vera Sidika because you know what? Imagine Vera Sidika pays an average salary of 50,000 to her nannies. This she said through her Insta stories where she wrote, many want me to post deeds on the nanny boutique. Unfortunately, she doesn't like having her business overly publicized. She likes very intimate referrals from circles of friends because of the type of client she has and wants to maintain a certain caliber. Oh my goodness. Since her rates for nannies ain't cheap, salaries range from a minimum of 50k going up. They are very well groomed, trained, fluent in English and other languages too. Reason being, if everyone has access to her and their budget isn't what she offers, it will make her work very difficult. That's why referrals work best for her. Moving on is that in the last two weeks, the church unfortunately has been criticized because of some things that have been put online. And one of them is of videos of a certain pastor whom I am not going to mention the name praying for his people and according to the people online they say that mm -mm, that is not the church we knew but anyway who are we to judge then this week we saw a uh, part of the clergy uh, dedicating the new quiver launch branch and of course people had to say things and they were like yo is this a business that the church has business to do with but anyway the one and only pastor t has condemned the act of this catholic 
placed dedicating the new quiver launch uh, uh, branch and this is what uh, pastor t mwangi had to say shame shame i hope the catholic clergy will sort out to condemn such action and activity because it's not in line with our biblical ethics and doctrine in a country where 70 percent are youth where where we are opening mega clubs and closing mega churches it should act as an alarm of crisis. Christianity is becoming irrelevant to the youth and incoming generations because the tent and the values of the faith are being diluted by very custodian. I know someone will say Jesus turned water into wine as a miracle. The context was in a wedding where they served good wine and bad wine. Good wine was juice pressed from fresh gla- grapes and it had no alcohol they used to serve it first and it was for the rich and high table jesus turned water into good wine not bad wine the fermented grapes juice jesus was also a nazarite from nazareth the same vow was upon samson and john hence he could not take any intoxicating drinks or alcohol because of the nazarene nature and much more the post is quite long but anyway pastor t seems to be deeply annoyed by this act by the catholic police of dedicating the new quiver launch branch what do you think was it just a normal business that the church had to do business with am i something that should not be done in support of what pastor t did let me know what do you think about this whole story now this week's cases of insecurities have been rampant in the city and other parts of the country and guess what Criminal gangs around Kitengela have taken the note a little bit higher because you know what? This criminal gang from Kitengela actually demands for cooked chicken and ugali before robbing the victims. And I'm like, with this economy, what will happen if they don't find cooked chicken or even a live chicken or even ugali at my place what happens anyway their business was just to take away things from me why do i have to serve them anyway this is what has been happening in kitengela i don't know about your area but we have seen cases of insecurity increasing in the city and other parts of the country so it is a call for all of us to take a charge and take care of each other because these things are on the rise now eric Kumundi asked every artist in the country to take business to take music sorry as business and guess what our very own willie paul willie pose has taken his rate card a little bit higher and if you are any event organizer or anyone who needs a pose for an event or any appearance this is his new rate card number one club appearance without doing anything goes for three hundred thousand kenyan shillings club performance within nairobi six hundred thousand Post on stories, there is a uh, per post, 200,000. Post on feeds goes for half a million per post. Brand endorsement goes for 30 million Kenya shillings. However, this is quite negotiable according to Willie Paul. And finally, main event that is outdoor goes for 1.5 million Kenya shillings. Let me know, is there anyone out there willing to take Willie Paul, Willie Pose for anything, including club appearance? without doing anything only to spend 300,000 Kenya shillings na hi uchumi. Anyway, those have been our updates. Those have been the trending stories this week. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, I've been your host, Shiko Guitar. Remember to follow us on all platforms at Empire Group Production. Find me on...